Breaking news, Auburn has finally done it. They have fired Brian Harson. What went so wrong for Harson at Auburn? I think the better question is, what went right? He was skipping team uh, recruiting dinners. He was not showing up to high schools. He wasn't calling schools. There was an article today published by, I think, two four, the 247 affiliate for Auburn talking about how he just was not on the trail. Williams will be taking over, which has really just ignited the fan base. I, I am very thankful um, and honored uh, for this opportunity. That Pressure coming up the middle. Ashford eludes it, and now he'll scramble and he gets sent in the end zone. They award themselves, give themselves trophies for all these new plays they're inventing. It's like, I don't, I don't count it like that. Intercepted, got it off the tip drill. And Jalen Simpson's got Auburn knocking on the door again. Cadillac said there will be no quit in us. Ashford design run all the way, and he's got another touchdown. the running back. Play. No, this is Bigsby. Huge hole. Take Bigsby still at his feet. He is in. Touchdown over. First to go for the Tigers. Straight ahead, Hunter. And into the end zone. 
throws and it's picked off. DJ James. He's to the 10. Touchdown, Auburn. And let the celebration begin. My goodness. Got breaking news out of college football where Auburn is hiring Hugh Freeze as its next head coach. Hugh Freeze is officially going to become the next head coach of the Auburn Tigers. Uh, every job I've ever taken over has had uh, some type of uh, struggles uh, prior to our arrival and we've been able to turn them fairly quick and I look forward to that challenge here with this great staff that we're going to put together and these young men that are going to buy in. What do you have to do to compete at Auburn to get these Tigers back to being the team that their fans expect them to be? Yeah, recruit. We, we've got to go get players. We've got to revamp the roster. And it's uh, the good thing um, is in this new day and time, you know, you can do that fairly fast. Gunnar Britton is transferring from Western Kentucky to Auburn University. Latest transfer into the 2023 class. Avery Jones is now part of this 2023 class. Transferring in. Florida International University. Who is that individual? It is Rivaldo Fairweather. Cincinnati wide receiver Nick Martner, literally huge, six foot six, commits to Auburn. Auburn is added a uh, transfer of Brian Batty out of the University of South Florida. Elijah McAllister, the edge defensive end, um, commits. You have a brand new transfer to this 2023 class. Dylan Wade has decided to throw his hat in with Tigers. Demario Toller, the former LSU linebacker, Lawrence Johnson, the defensive lineman from Purdue, 6'4", 285. And they also added the Messiah Nasili Kite. Shane Hooks, previously committed to Ole Miss out of the transfer portal, taking his talents to Hugh Freeze and Auburn. Justin Rogers, Woo! formerly of the Kentucky Wildcats, has committed to the Auburn Tigers. Over the weekend, Lindsey, Auburn picks up former Ole Miss linebacker, Austin Keys. Auburn got another body for that offensive line, Jaden Muskrat. New transfer edge from Liberty University, Steven Sings the fifth. Brand new transfer wide receiver, Caleb Burton. Jalen McLeod, Auburn lands one of their priority yeah. targets in the portal. Uh, the wide receiver, Jair Shorter, picks Auburn 18 now with the linebacker from North Texas also making the cup to switch over to Auburn. Former Michigan State quarterback, Peyton Thorne, has made his decision. He is committing to Hugh Freeze and the Auburn Tigers. Former Michigan State quarterback, Peyton Thorne, has officially announced his intent to transfer to Auburn. Auburn's been portaling. They've been portaling hard down there. Auburn has gone absolutely beast mode in the transfer portal. Hugh Freeze is killing it in the transfer portal. They've got the number three class in the portal right now. They just brought in some more kids. Hugh Freeze has given himself an opportunity, and he's given the Auburn Tigers an opportunity to be competitive in year one. I believe in work, hard work, which it will take. I believe in the spirit of being unafraid. I don't fear much in life, and, and I don't think our team will either. Uh, I believe in the people. It's the Auburn family. This place is special, and there's no other place that I want to be. I believe in Auburn and love it. War Eagle.